silent messages therefore tell me where where is bad secret tell me where in the heart or in the head tell me how how be God I'll make my choice. Therefore, you gaudy gold, be gone. You too, you common currency. But you, you dull duck left, despite your looks, your plainness moves me more than eloquence. I stand before you with the basic facts. Promise me life and I'll confess the truth. I love you. You want you that way. Right then, goodbye for now. My tale is told. Remember, all that glitters is not gold. We are Gasciano, Lorenzo, Bassanio. The, the Beach Boys, Boys are, are always behind, behind you. Be men out. The truth. I don't know why I'm so sad. It worries me. You say it worries you. But how I caught it, found it, or came by it. I've yet to go. Invest in Bitcoin, sure, it's very stress. If I buy Bitcoin, confirm Kalan Kabul. I'll dream about my money blowing up. Like grenade in the forest. Boom! Gone! I diversified my ventures. Let's move on. Moving on. You are in love. Toy, toy! Let's make like trees and leave. The besties here. With blank burst and affection, we take our leave. You don't look well, my dearest friend Antonio. You have too much anxiety in the world. I see the world, but as the world, Bassanio, a stage where every man must play a part, and mine, a sad one. Let me play the fool. A willful youth who must repay your help. With only love. And the request for more. In Bukit Timun lives the fair Portia, besieged with suitors. Oh, her flowy locks hang on her temples like a glowing fleece. And many Jason's come in quest of her. If I could have the means to hold a place with one of them, I would be fortunate. I owe you much already, but. Go, Basanio. My purse, my person, my extremist means. Lie all unlocked for anything you need. My money is tied up. Therefore, go forth. Try what my credit can in vision do to furnish you the Timun to your love. Oh, money, don't pay money. Now lend more. This business man of vision is too kind. How far the little candle throws his beams, so shines a good deed in a naughty world. Oh. Ducats for three months. Uh, uh, uh. And I told you about. Shall we know your answer? Shylock, although I neither lend nor borrow, by taking nor by giving of excess, yet to supply the needs of my dear friend, I will custom and seal to this bond. Signor Antonio, I recall the times in Spenton Way when you berated me. You call me loan shark. Gangster, cutthroat dog, and all for use of that which is my own. Well then, it now appears you need my help. What should I say to you? Should I not say, a dog has money? Is it possible this dog can lend 3,000 ducats? Oh, fair sir, you spell me last Wednesday. You call me dog, and for these courtesies, I'll lend you money. If you can lend me money, lend it not as your friend, but your enemy. And if I forfeit, you need not delay. And that the penalty? <laughs> oh, I look how you rage. I would be friends with you and have your love. Supply your needs interest free. This is kindness. Signor Antonio, look here. We will sign a legal contract. And just for a joke, if you forfeit the loan, but of course you won't. 
the penalty shall be a pound of flesh to be cut off from wherever pleases me. You shall not seal to such a bond for me. Fear not, my prophets are worth thrice this sum. Yes, Shylock, I will seal unto this bond. Alas, what heinous sin is it in me to be ashamed to be my father's child? But though I am the offspring of Shylock, I do not share his habits, nor his hate. Farewell. And if my dreams all come to pass, I have a father, and you a son, just lost. A letter from Jesse, our friend. He said to meet him at his father's house to help carry the bounty he has taken. Hola! Oh, be good! It's not shine of light! Oi! Catch his casket! It's worth the pain! Get back here, you little devil! <laughs> Where did that scoundrel go? Do you see him? No, sir. But look here. Two thousand ducats and precious jewels stolen by my son Jesse. Oh, I wish you were dead at my foot and the jewels in his ear, the ducats in his coffin. Yes, but other men have bad luck too. Antonio, as you heard. Bad luck? The value of his cat flick stock has fallen by half after the internet finally lost interest in cat videos. Is it true? His coconut shake outlets all had to close after commercial renter rates increased by 60%. Can it be? Cryptocurrencies crashed and he's holding for 5,000 ducats and now worth five. <laughs> Five hundred? Five. <laughs> Good news! Duo, find me Judge Magnifico. Go. If he forfeits, I'll have his heart. Go! Go, Duo! Choose not by the view, have with wisdom chosen true. Since this fortune falls to you, be content and seek no new. In beauty, wealth, connections, and talents, I wish I had it all to impress you. But all I have is me, innocent, naive, but not so old a doubt that I cannot learn. Everything that I am and have are yours. I give them with this ring. Please, guard it well. Should this ring leave my finger, it will be the moment that my life will leave my body. We've no time for this. Antonio's in trouble. Investments, God, profits all, Chiba boom. And Shylock, my father whom I left demands his due. You rather have the flesh of Antonio than 20 times the value of the loan. My dearest friend, I, I, I owe him such a debt. He sponsored me and sent me to your door. My love, you must go to him. I will hurry. I shall not rest till I return to you. Come on, Nerissa. I'll tell you my plan. We'll see my husband sooner than he thinks. Will he see us? Yes, but he will know us. Antonio, I am sorry for you. You face a hard-hearted adversary, unmerciful and devoid of pity. Since I have no lawful means to escape, I mean his fury with a patient heart. Shylock, this court hopes your unreasonable malice will eventually end in mercy and remorse. I can and will give no reason beyond the hate I bear this man. I want my due. I have called upon the learned Dr. Bellario to advise us on the outcome of this case. The doctor's illness keeps him from attending. He recommends a young but brilliant lawyer to take his place. Balthazar, send him in. You're at his mercy, are you not? I am. Then Shylock must be merciful. Why should I? 
Mercy is not false but given. Although your claims are just, consider this. We all need mercy. Therefore, we should show it. Uphold the law. Give me what I owe. Allow me to examine the contract. Can he repay the sum? I have it here. And if it's not enough, I'd pay ten times over. To save your life, Antonio, I'd give mine and everything I have, even my wife. How fortunate for you. Your wife's not here to hear this generous offer from your lips. <laughs> By law, Shylock may claim his pound of flesh to be cut off near Antonio's heart. Not a young judge, I honor your wisdom. I'm ready. Friend, give me your hand. Farewell! Shylock, you shall have justice, but beware, take no more no less than your pound of flesh, and shed not even one drop of his blood. Ensure Antonio stays alive and well, or else your life is forfeit, your goods cease for an act of attempted murder against this man. Oh, learn a judge, we honor your wisdom. Is that the law? <laughs> In fact, you're already guilty. Since you're clearly planned to take his life, your life lies at the mercy of the judge. Your property will be evenly divided between the state and your intended victim. See lah, you took better and also no use. Yeah lah, exo gangster, now you tell her law. You know, you can't spell Shiloh without an L. Oh! oh. <laughs> this man has shamed me, laughed at my losses, mocked my profits, turned my friends and family against me, and encouraged my enemies. And what's his reason? I'm different from him. But how am I different? Don't I have eyes? Don't I have hands, organs, senses, affections, passions? If you break me, do I not bleed? If you tickle me, do I not laugh? If you poison me, do I not die? If you wrong me, do I not revenge? If anyone has wronged you, it's me. I'll stand by you, Father. Please, have mercy. And now pardon his life, because you ask it, and reduce the state's claim to a fine. I'm content to give up what I'm owed. I've caused you enough pain. Let our two wrongs now make a right. Live and let live. are forever in your debt. So, please accept this money owed to Shylock. In saving you, I am now satisfied. I need no payment, but that ring you wear as token of your gratitude and thanks. My dear friend, let him have it for my sake. So, take this with my thanks. If my wife knew how well I deserved this ring, she, she would forgive me. What faith you have in her, and for good reason. How could I have not recognized my love? Not just my wife, but our savior too.